Hello and welcome to our DVD on choosing and conditioning your dog to an electronic collar. Uh, the electronic collar has become one of the most pervasive tools in modern dog training and it is a useful tool in the right sets of circumstances but there's some things that we really want to be careful about when using any aversive tool uh, but an electronic collar especially and if we have are armed with good information and are careful about our introduction, then the tool can be very productive. But there are some dangers, and we want to make sure that you are fully ready and understand the full range of possible behaviors when using an electronic collar. Uh, this DVD is based on an understanding of our general training principles, our general training approaches. So those of you not familiar with the way we approach training, it would be extremely useful, um, maybe even necessary, for you to expose yourself to some of the ideas about training in general and communication that we cover in some of our other DVDs. I would like to see you have a familiarity with the concepts covered in our Training Dogs with Food DVD uh, and our Training the Recall DVD. Both of these things are really important as concepts covered there in detail uh, will be used in this DVD without thorough explanations. Uh, again, the DVD would be excessively long if we revisited all the basic prerequisites ahead of time. So please familiarize yourself with our approach to training communication before uh, watching this DVD if possible. The DVD will be laid out like most of ours. We'll have a section at the beginning that covers terminology, some of the jargon specific terms that we're gonna use uh, in this DVD that you might not be familiar with. And then we'll go through a series of steps, uh, choose, familiarizing you with some of the common features of an electronic collar, uh, how they work, uh, picking one that's right for your dog, uh, what your dog should know before we start using them. Uh, so as we go forward, what behavior should your dog be familiar with? And then finally, how we condition the dog to, to the collar to avoid problems in our future training.